Welcome back. <laughs> Part two. Here we go. Part two of how to use the Novation Launchpad. How to with operate your launchpad. How to operate your launchpad. <laughs> launchpad. That's a joke because my band's name is How to Operate Your Brain. Um, okay, so here's another way that you can use the launchpad in a, in a pseudo effective way with FL Studio. Um, as you can see here, this is a grid, and every single one of these yellow ones are white keys. White keys, because white keys can hold things in FL Studio rather than on not white keys, where you have to hold them down. As you can see, these two are also white keys, as we also saw on this one. Anyway, and right now it's just mapped to, uh, to, uh, to FL keys. So, what I originally created, oh, this is a play stop button, by the way. As you can see, when I hit it, it'll play the, uh, playlist. And the way that you do that in Catapult is, um, there's a way that you can set it to correspond to certain keys. Set these buttons in Catapult to correspond to keys on your keyboard. So, right now, I have this hitting the space. And you can have it, like, like, you can set a key to hit, like, J or something. Which is cool, because then you can, like, type with the launch pad. Um, anyway, I think I'll upload my uh, my layouts with with this YouTube video so that you guys can sort of toy around with that and get a feel for it. Because I discovered that by downloading someone else's um, uh, uh, tutorial, basically, and someone else's layout. Anyway, um, another effective way to use the launch pad is to use it with FL Studio's live mode, which since FL, FL 10 came out has not been as prevalent before you would hit live mode. And, like, these things would come up on the side, and it would show you which clips were playing and which weren't. Um, now it doesn't anymore. And I guess that's a logical progression, because FL Studio recently announced that they are making a, uh, a version that'll be completely compatible with Launchpad for triggering clips. Which is pretty cool, you know? But I don't think that's going to come out for a little while. So, um, my explanations are still valid for a little while. Um, basically how I have this mapped is these... In fact, I should relaunch into FL Studio 9 to show you guys this. Um, this is this works really way better with FL Studio 9 and, and below. Alright, so here is FL Studio 9, and here is Live Mode. Here's those little arrows I was talking about, these right here. So, if now that we're in Live Mode, yeah, as you can see, now that we're in Live Mode, I can trigger those on and off with these buttons. And that is really nothing more than um, you go into your settings, your audio settings, and you have to, or yeah, your MIDI settings, sorry, and you set it so the launch pad is in the same channel as the playlist live mode. So when you're in live mode, um, the launch pad will correspond only to the live mode, and there's no way to get it to, use, to do live mode and also to control... Um, uh, like soft synths or anything, as far as I can tell. Um, and when it's not in live mode, it's just an ordinary controller again, it, like a like a keyboard. Um, so here, as you can see, if we had some cool clips that we were playing, you know, I, I probably should have loaded up a cool project or something. We could go ahead and do our our kicks right here. Oh yeah. All right. All right. So there you go. There's there's number one. Here we go. Let's make another pattern. Let's make it. Uh, let's make it a hat. All right. Here we go. So now I'm gonna trigger number two. And that works because um, because it starts on middle C. Pattern one is middle C, and this note is middle C. And only white notes correspond to here. Just as you know, they designed it on launch on live uh, when they first designed live mode. It was meant to be. It was meant to be so that you could hit each of these buttons, and each one would correspond to track 1, track 2, track 3, track 4, track 4, 5, tra or pattern, pattern 6, pattern 7, pattern 8. Um, and that's cool because there's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, but then, as you can see, like here's 5. As you can see right there, as I hit it, 5 is going. And then the next one over, if you look at the, uh, <laughs> right there, there's number 5, and then here's the next button that I have. Right there, right there. So, those two correspond to uh, those, and uh, that's because there's a, like I explained earlier, there's a jump in the keys, or literally, um, it, this is a chromatic thing, and then there's like a, a jump 
in which like they skip some keys right here and right here and then it's like a whole new like line of keys so it's literally as if you had sections of a keyboard to perform live mode with like you had these first five keys then there's a skip and then the next one that you have access to is pattern 10, which would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So literally what it's like doing live mode with the launch pad is these five right here, and then it starts up again right here with these five. Yeah, because there's five keys right there that are white keys. So it's not really a very effective way to uh, do FL Studio's live mode. Um, because you have to design it around then. You can't have any clips that you want to be performing in uh, patterns 6, 7, 8, or 9. They, ha they have to start up again at 10. And, you know, again, that's just a way to find a way around how this stuff is hardwired to work. Um, let's see. So what I've started to do is, and I can actually show you guys a project with this, is I'm going to open up FL Studio 10 again, because that's what I've been using, and I'm going to load up a project that I have. Um, so, as well as these being able to correspond to live mode, each one of them, just as I showed you before with the effects, can work as mutes. So, what I've been doing with my band for performing some songs is, hold on, what time are we at? 6.22. Alright, we can keep going. Is, I've got, I've got a song that has basically, it's, the song's called Earth 2, I wrote it, um, and there's four tracks here, and then my band plays the rest of the tracks. We have two guitars and a drum kit, which listen, which our drummer listens to sound canceling earphones, so he can keep track, keep time with the track. And um, I play bass in my band normally. On this particular song, I don't play bass. I just play launch pad. I have another song in which we do this in, um, where I'm controlling the launch pad, where I play bass while working the launch pad because there's so few clips to uh, work on. Um, so each one of these, these four, in this particular song, there's four tracks, and it just loops when you play them. Uh, these four correspond to the mutes to these tracks. As you can see, I have them as either audio tracks or as just single, like soft synths. Like this is this is a bass, and I can and I can play it on the launch pad. Um, yeah. So what I do to perform this is I have a I have a dummy track which is just a, just a sampler that has nothing on it no no sound clip so that I don't accidentally hit it and play a sound clip. This is play. That's a mute. That's the mute for the first track. And as you can see, if I pull this up, which is the full bar sample, that's the track I have there. As I hit this button, it mutes on and off, and I have this for all four tracks that are here. That's as loud as it will go. And literally, I just trigger the mutes. So right then, I unmuted the drums. And then next, I'm going to unmute the synth and the synth bass. So that's how, that's another way that you can perform stuff live with FL Studio. And then that's my play stop again. Unmute all four of them. Um, something else that's pretty cool. Uh, what time are we at now? 8.30. 8.30. All right. Um, I'm going to keep going. I'm going to push through. I can upload uh, videos up to 12 minutes, I think. I don't know. Um, let's go ahead and open up this. This is, this is a project that I have that's literally just like all the soft instruments that we use with our band live. Um... So like our drummer, sometimes we have this synthesizer, I own Harmless, um, which is a plugin that you can buy from FL Studio, or from ImageLine. And our drummer, while playing drums, will do this shit. And he'll play this and we'll run it through the DI at the venue of whatever we're doing. And he'll do ambience while playing drums, which is pretty cool. Um, something that's really cool to work with is the FPC. I'm a huge fan of the MPC for both production and for live usage. Um, you can create, let's see, what layout do I use with this one? I use that one. Okay, so there you go. This I created this layout to be like three samplers, some effects, and a play, play stop. Um, this is actually the one that I used in the healthcare, the buildings video. Or the, the buildings, not healthcare, the buildings. That's something else I did. Um, 
And here I have a sampler and or an FPC. And each one of these has piano samples in it, or drum samples, or whatever you want to have in them. And I have it um, corresponding to these. And that's really simple to do. All you do is you get all your shit loaded up that you want. And uh, you can literally assign this to anywhere you want on, on, uh, on the launch pad by going to MIDI Note. Then you hit this button. You go over here to Map Notes for Entire Bank. Click that shit! And then just click. And I had some drums in there too. And there's a bit of latency right now because I don't, I'm not using my external sound card, so it would start to static if I were to uh, if I were to have the the the, the thingy up. Anyway, so that's pretty much what I know about the launch pad and how to use it with FL Studio. Um, give me some comments, give me some questions, and I'll answer them. Either I can answer you guys individually, you can PM me. I've already answered a couple people individually. Um, I helped one guy, um, I think his name's MTD Official. I had, thanks. <laughs> I helped him with uh, uh, setting up the launch pad, and actually, he really, I, I wanted to do this video for him to help him out because he's having some trouble with the launch pad that he just bought. But yeah, I'm really open to helping you guys out. Um, I, my knowledge only goes as far as, th as, you know, you know, that, and of course, um, FL Studio, Image Lines working on getting, um, making the Launchpad way more usable with their software in the future, but for now, yeah, I'm open to helping you guys, so, thanks a lot for watching, and, uh, I hope that was cohesive and stuff, see ya.